Hello, my name is Stuff, and today we'll be going over discolored squares. Discolored squares is uh, it's the hardest of the squares modules, and it's sort of hard to wrap your head around. Like the other squares, this we do is not, the story of a man named Stanley. We do not need edge work, uh, and you can identify it from the other squares by, well, this being obvious, but like only one color, well. Four colors are shown once, and one color shown twelve times. That's obvious. What we do is uh, we write down each color, and I'd suggest doing this in reading order. We write down the color and then the position uh, at it, uh, initially, and then we're gonna press it. So we have green at Charlie one. Yellow at Bravo 2, blue at Alpha 3, and red at Alpha 4. Alright, now, if I can alt tab correctly. So, what we do is uh, for the first stage, well, for each stage, there are four stages in total. We use the corresponding color and its position in the grid to figure out what we uh, were to press. So, in this big grid above, we find out where we press uh, where our first button press was. In this case, at Charlie One. So we're going to move north. Now move north from what? We move north from each green uh, square that's present, but in a certain way. So we find all the, uh, all the green squares, so in this case, um, they are at Charlie 3, Delta 3, and Delta 4, and we determine the order of what to press. So, um, something I should mention, which, which always happens in the other squares, but you don't press white. If it shows up on white, you do the permutation again. Uh, yeah, and if you press a color, uh, you ignore that color from like future uh, from future instructions. Basically, you just uh, since it's white, you no longer use it. So, so we have Charlie three, Delta three, and Delta four. Charlie three has a value of six. Charlie uh, Delta three has a value of ten. And delta 4 is the value of 11. Now we press these, well we don't press these, but we use these in ascending order. So we go north of Charlie 3, north of delta 3, oops, and then north of delta 4. And then we're on the next stage. Now we have yellow, uh, and its position was Bravo 2, which is to move southwest. So we take all yellows, which is Alpha 3 and Charlie 3, and we move southwest from them. And again, since we're in stage 2, we have to find out uh, the new uh, order. So we have Alpha 3, which has a value of 16, and since 16 is the highest value, we're just going to press Charlie 3 first. So we're moving southwest, um, and we're going, yeah, so it's moving southwest, and it's Charlie 3, then Alpha 3. Charlie 3 goes south and then west to here, and then Alpha 3 goes south and west to here. Now we have blue at alpha 3, which is mirror about the x-y axis. So, uh, so we have blues at alpha 4, uh, bravo 3, and charlie 4. Uh, they have the values of 2, 8, and 1. So, and since we're mir mirroring about the x-y axis, that means um, 
for those of you who don't know graphs, uh, this diagonal, you're just going to press the ones on this, like, so... Actually, I'll explain it later, I guess. Uh, or I can explain it right now. Uh, so, Charlie 4, since we're flipping across the XY axis, that goes over to here. Next thing we have is Alpha 4. Since this is already on the XY axis, we can just press it. And same thing applies with Bravo 3. But before I do, um, let's say the square that you land on is already white, you just apply it again and you click the original square. I should mention that if you do strike, uh, it does reset completely. Okay, next thing we have is Alpha 4, uh, and Alpha 4, that is at Alpha 3 and Charlie 1. Uh, Alpha 4, we have Mirror about the X axis. Uh, let's see, Alpha 3. So, Alpha 3 has a value of 5, and Charlie 1 has a value of 3. Okay, oops, wrong one. Since we're uh, mirroring across the x-axis, that means we go to the place uh, opposite of it. So, the top row goes to the bottom row, and the middle top row goes to the middle bottom row. So, Charlie 1, uh, mirroring about the x, goes here. And Alpha 3, moving uh, about the, the moving about the x-axis, goes here. But since it's white, we just press Alpha 3. This was exactly the way. As per usual, let's do a second example. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay, so we have yellow at alpha one, magenta at alpha four, red at alpha no at Bravo four, and green at Charlie four. So, we take all occurrences of yellow, which is at Charlie 1, Alpha 2, and Delta 3. Uh, since yellow was initially at Alpha 1, we're going to be moving northwest. Now, Charlie 1 has a value of 1, Alpha 2 has a value of 14, and Delta 3 has a value of 10. So, we're going to be moving from... Um, it's going to have the order of Charlie 1, Delta 3, Alpha 2. We're moving northwest. So, from Charlie 1, we move... From Charlie 1, we move northwest. So, we go north, and then west. From Delta 3, we move northwest, so north and west. And from Alpha 2, we move north and then west. Next thing we have is magenta, which is at alpha 4 and charlie 4. Uh, since it was at alpha 4, we're going to be mirroring about the x-axis. And the order that is in is the one I read in, because a4 has a value of 19, I mean of 9, and c4 has a value of 13. So, 9 goes up here. Yep, and C goes up here. Next thing we have is uh, red at Bravo 4. Our positions are Delta 2 and Charlie 4. We have red at Bravo 4. Bravo 4 is going to be moving south, wrapping around. Delta 2 is going to be 5. And Charlie 4 is going to be 1. So we're pressing it Charlie 4 Delta 2 moving south. So Charlie 4 moving south is going to be here, since this is the first not white square that is moving south. And Delta 2 moving south is just here. Next thing we have is green at Charlie 4. That is Alpha 3 and Bravo 3. Uh, 
Uh, Charlie 4, uh, we're going to be moving 9 degrees counterclockwise. Uh, let's see. Charlie 4. Yeah. So, alpha 3 is the value of 5, and bravo 3 is the value of 2. So, we're going to be moving from bravo 3 to uh, alpha 3. So, bravo 3 going counterclockwise uh, would be here. This is taken. Then it would be here, but this is also taken, so it goes here. Alpha 3, uh, it would go... Hmm. Uh, yeah, Alpha 3 going counterclockwise would be here, and then we would cross this. However, I'm going to go over all the, um, over all the movements, because I didn't cover them all. So, I'll just keep this as a note. So, uh, say we start here. Moving northwest would be just moving up and left. Pretty obvious. Moving northeast would be moving up and right. Moving north would just be moving up. If we were to rotate 180 degrees, we would press the one... Uh, that's diametrically opposite of it. So, for example, this square would be here, this square would be here, this would be here, and this would be here. This one would go here, this one would go here, this one would go here, and this one would go here. If we mirror about the uh, x negative y axis, these four stay as is. These two cross, these two cross, these two uh, switch, these two switch, these two switch, and these two switch. If we move southwest, we start here, move south, and then west. If we mirror about the y-axis, uh, then this, uh, these two switch, same with these two, and these two, and these two, along with these two, these two, these two, and these two. If we stay in place, that one's very obvious. You stay in place. Uh, we already covered this one. Moving east is just moving this way. Moving clockwise, uh, this would become this. This would become this. This and this. This to this. And you move the entire thing clockwise. Moving west would go this way. Mirroring about the x-axis we already did, you probably know how south goes, I just did counterclockwise, and moving southeast is down and right. So, I was to press Charlie 3. This was exactly the way right now. And that is the Scholar Squares. I hope you learned it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and get a job.